Alright guys, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to use EasyCAD, so instead of trying to explain it all with uh, text, I guess i just show you so that it'll probably be more clear. Um, so without further ado, let's just get started. So there's a f few things that you need to do, and that's download a, a bunch of the software. Um, first you need the driver for the EasyCAD. If you have Windows XP, then the EasyCAD should have come with a CD that has this driver on it. So, you might go ahead and use that. If you have Windows Vista 7, you can go ahead and use this one that I found. Uh, it seems to work fine for me, so it should probably work fine for you as well. Uh, the Earl is up here, so just come here and get it. Uh, the second thing you need is some kind of video editing software. Um, for that, I use Virtual Dub, which you can find here at this Earl, and you can just download it by clicking here. Uh, the third thing you need is some kind of encoder for your video. Um, CCCP comes with a a good amount of encoders for you to use, but uh, oh well, it only comes with really one, but that one's good enough. So just go and use that. Um, and then finally, you want to have some kind of audio encoding, which I'm going to use MP3 unless you have other encoders. Um, you can get an MP3 uh, codec from here for for virtual dub. Uh, the Earl's up here, and there's two choices for you actually. Um, I've used both of them, but Lame MP3, for whatever reason, gives me a few issues with audio and video syncing, so I went with Radium. Um, and then finally, you might need this, depending on if you're in the same boat as I am, but if you're not, then I wouldn't worry about it. But e either way, even if you don't need it, this is a really good uh, media player for like all kinds of media, video, audio, whatever. You can throw, you can throw anything at it, and it'll probably play it, so... It's good anyway. Um, that's about all for the software you need. So let's take a look at the, I guess the hardware aspect, and, and I guess your connections. And let's just see if these are right. Uh, this is what I have right now, and uh, the Easy Caps right here, as you can see, that's plugged into one of my USB ports. And then here's my Wii connections right here. Uh, these are my Wii composite cables that are connected to the Easy Cap. The yellow ones, the video cable. And then the other two are the audio cables, left and right. Um, you'll notice that I've plugged mine into another cable that goes into my sound card directly. That's completely optional. You don't need to do that. I just prefer doing it myself. But um, the Easy Caps, um, audio, the the Easy Caps audio connections work fine, and they're right here. So if you don't have this cable, don't worry. You can just plug into these. It works fine. Finally, if you have a S video cable, somehow, then you can use this one for your video connection so um, I think that's probably that's probably it for the connections as long as your connections look something like this you should be fine alright so let's just jump right into it um, open up virtual dub and then go to virtual dub.exe no, just open up that and then to capture a video we want to go to file and then capture AVI this will bring you to another window and you may or may not have this immediately. And you can see I have uh, Tales of Symphonia playing currently. Anyways, you may or may not have this initially. But you can tell when you're in this window if you see a bunch of stuff on the right that showed up here. Anyways, um, if you don't have the video, then don't worry. Uh, we can probably fix that right now. Um, first, go to Device, the top. And then you want to choose your uh, EasyCap device here. Um, depending on the driver you have, it might say something different. If you have the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video, then you'll see something that looks like this. If you have the driver on the CD, I believe it gives you Syntec STK1160 or something like that. And if you have some other driver, then I don't know what it will show up there, but it'll, it, sh it should be pretty obvious which one's the, the easy cap. And we just choose whatever device it is. And then, for some people, that might br fix this and bring up the right one like a video, but uh, if you don't, there's still one more step they can check. Uh, for that, just go to video here, and then go to capture filter. And this is probably the more important one here. This this configures your easy cap, and depending on what kind of system you have, um, you have to select the actual input source. Um, if you're, well, if you have a US system, then you probably want NTSCM. If you have a European system, then I don't know which one's which, but there's a bunch of PAL 
options here. You can choose one of those. And then if you're if you have a Japanese console, then you want the NTSC M and then followed by J, which uh, which shows you that it's Japanese. Um, and then again, if you have S video, you can choose this one. But I have to pause it, so it's going. I just go and choose that one. Um, the other tabs don't really do anything at this point. I don't know what they're there for, but you can't really change any of these anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Now, at this point, you should have some kind of video. Um, if you don't have video, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, just send me a message, and I can probably fix it, hopefully. But, um, yeah, you should have video by this point, so I'm going to assume that you have video working here. Now, we want to set the audio as well. Um, you want to choose your audio device from the audio tab here. And then, um, if you plug your white and red cables directly into the EasyCat, then you probably want something that looks like this, the digital audio interface. And you can tell because it says USB after it. And if you don't have any of the USB devices, like USB sound cards, then this should be the only one that shows up. Um, for me, I have a headset that I'm talking to you through, so I have a USB headset here. But you want to use your easy cap at this point. Um, personally, I have mine plugged into a separate sound card, as you recall, so mine will be this one right here. And then once you choose that, you also want to make sure that you have this one, or this enable audio capture selected, because if you don't, then your video in the end won't have any sound. Um, you notice right now that you you don't hear any kind of sound from the game. Um, that's because of this option, which you can turn on if you want. Um, but I'll show you the problem with it. That well, there's a problem I have with it, and that's this. You can hear the sound now. Let me just show you. You might be able to tell from here because the the cursor where the um, which is items on the screen. You see how it's a little jumpy. Let me show you what happens if you try to play like this. Don't worry, leave it to me. Angel feathers. Are you okay? Sword Well, you get the idea. You really can't play a record like this, so... Um... We can't use this option, basically, so... Let me turn that back off. So, now your option is to play and record with no sound on your side. There'll be sound in the video that you get, but you won't, you won't hear any sound otherwise when you're recording. But, um, that's probably not what we want, so... We can fix that with a, with a workaround that I found. Um... Open up Media Player Classic, the one I told you to download earlier. And then, you should put it in a corner somewhere, and then go to File, and Open Device. And then, uh, select the audio to be the audio device that you have um, your white and red cables connected into. Again, if you have the easy cat, it will be this one. But if you're like me with a different sound card, it will probably be like a sound card. Um, before I go on, let me make sure, um, I guess mention a note. If you don't plan on recording your video, you can actually use this program to show it. Um, the EasyCap will show up here as well. So, if you select the EasyCap here and push OK, you'll see the, the, the video output here as well. So, you, if you don't plan on recording, you can use this program fine. It works great. But, um, I already have a video here, so I don't need that. So, all we will do is leave this blank, and then... Uh, select our audio device here. Just push OK. And then there's your sound. Alright, so now that we have sound, and this shouldn't lag you, let's just... Press it. Not yeah, much of a specimen. Get him! Get him! Sword Blade! Sword Blade! Yeah, that looks much better. Alright, so now I think we're almost...